Hey guys, don't worry. I feel terrible. The most stressful because fillers dissolve. It doesn't count as having like a procedure done. Oh my God. Anyways, um, yeah, back to work for me. Good morning, today is Sunday, May 3rd, which means we have seven days to study for our med school final exam. So being the master procrastinator and star student that I am, I of course am going to start this study vlog by doing some dishes. After all of the procrastinating cleaning was finally finished, I sat down and managed to get a few hours of studying in. I decided to take a nap because my focus just wasn't there. I felt exhausted and I thought a quick bit of sleep would help. However, I just woke up and I feel terrible. Alrighty, so this is my current working setup. I've got my iPad with my lecture notes and written notes, and then I've got my notepad that I'm just kind of writing down key things that I want to remember. Hey guys, so it's just after 10. I made a little schedule for tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be more productive. I really relaxed today, so I'm hoping that I will feel rejuvenated. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, my friends. It is Monday morning. I've just made some oatmeal and some coffee, so we're gonna eat that and then get started with our day. First up, we have an eye lecture. Yeah. Hello, so I'm just going through this eye lecture and I wanted to share a fun fact because I read this and I was like, huh, makes sense, but never thought of this. So I'm sure you have heard of cataracts. That is when you have a discoloration of the lens or an opacity that affects visual acuity. And interestingly, overall you have decreased vision. However, because the nucleus becomes more dense, you actually increase your refractive power so you can actually see better for nearsighted things. I don't know if you guys find that cool, but I thought it was interesting that something that like deteriorates your vision can actually make nearsightedness better. Anyways, um, yeah, back to work for me. So as you know, Mr. Egg underwent a membrane transplant, and I'm happy to say that he is recovering very well post-operatively, and he is currently just chilling in the fridge. So it is 11.05, we have completed three lectures today, and next on the schedule is going for a run. Hey guys, so I just got back from my run. I'm super sweaty, but it was so nice. It's super sunny out and it is finally starting to look like summer. So yay, vitamin D. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower, make some lunch, and then we'll get back to work. Hey guys, so as you can see, I switched up my location for the afternoon. I do find that like changing up your location helps a lot. And if you've watched other study videos, you probably noticed that I have a major Starbucks addiction, but with the current lockdown, that's not really a place that I can go hang out and study right now. So what I've been doing is actually just switching up the location within the house. So this morning I was in the office and then now I'm at the kitchen table. And then later tonight, I'll probably study on the couch just so that I can kind of get a change of scenery. I find that if I sit in one place for too long, it starts to feel stale. I know that's a terrible descriptor word, but it's like the only word I can think of like the opposite of fresh You know when you've been in a place for too long So I'm one hour behind schedule, which honestly isn't too bad I kind of plan my evening with a bit of a buffer so that I can kind of catch up on things that I didn't really get to during the day So I'm gonna keep working and then have dinner in a bit and then I will check in again later Hey guys, so it is just after nine o'clock, so I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm actually pretty happy with how today went. A lot better than yesterday. I managed to get everything done on the schedule except for go through the anatomy cards. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I'm gonna flip through some cards while I'm lying here. And then tomorrow, wake up and hopefully have another successful day. Tomorrow was not a successful day. So it is 2 p.m. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm in my bedroom because I was just sleeping. To catch you up on the day so far, I woke up at 6.45, started studying, worked from 7 to 9, and then I Zoom FaceTimed a friend and we studied together from 9 to 11. And then I crawled into bed and proceeded to sleep for two and a half hours, so that was great. And then I spent the last half hour feeling super guilty for sleeping, so that is where we are at. However, I think I just need to move on and stop feeling like a terrible person for not working hard or pushing myself. So yeah, let's go study.
Good evening, so it's Wednesday night. I'm writing up some notes for um, infective endocarditis. And I'm trying to write the word bacteria static, but my iPad is convinced that I meant to say bacteria's tatty Christmas. Anyways. Hello, so it is Thursday. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the first exam is upon us. So the upcoming exams I have are basically two exams. One is a multiple choice exam, which covers the topics of rheumatoid arthritis, abnormal vaginal bleeding, prostate cancer, sepsis, septic shock, and dementia. The second exam is a lab exam, which consists of anatomy, pathology, histology, and radiology. Both of these exams are being offered online so that we can do them from the comforts of our own home. But what this means is these exams are also open book. And because they're open book, they're not really official assessments, so our faculty is choosing to use other metrics to decide whether we pass second year and are able to move on to third year. Hey guys, so checklist update. We are almost done this one. I'm going to just skip the eye lecture because it's not very high yield, and now I'm going to finish going through the shock lectures and hopefully make some Google Doc summaries on those. Good evening. So I'm still studying on the couch and I low-key like love this setup. It's so comfy. So I have my keyboard and my mouse on my lap and then my notebook and then my iPad. And then way up there, I have my laptop. Also, I've been noticing that like for basically every single exam, I kind of have a different approach to studying every single time. I don't know if you guys do this as well. Let me know in the comments below. But I feel like part of me just like gets bored with using the same study methods all the time. And I just like need new things to stay interested and kind of like stimulated. Yay, super fun time studying with Kian. Hey guys, so it is just after 11 o'clock. I have stayed up past my bedtime. Scandalous, I know. Anyways, today was actually a pretty decent day. Let's look at our checklist. So I finished my two big main checklist items. So yay, I'm happy with myself. And then I started doing my septic shock summary. Tomorrow I'm gonna finish that. I think that's gonna take most of the morning. And then for the afternoon, hopefully I can spiral back, review some rheumatoid arthritis, as well as some abnormal vaginal bleeding. Those were so long ago. Like, I hope I didn't forget everything I learned from that because I don't think I have time to relearn it. This is the problem with having an exam postponed by like a month and a half. Anyways, I'm gonna head to bed. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, so it is 9 a.m. on Friday and my goal for the morning is to finish making my Google Doc summary for shock. So I have this weirdly specific issue when like a whole concept can't fit on one page. Like this, this is the end of what I'm writing on pericarditis and this one line is on the second page and it is driving me nuts. So I made a checklist for the rest of the day and I think I'm gonna have a snack and then next we're going to work on some Excel questions. I'm kind of getting bored of sitting at this desk location so I think I'm gonna switch it up and move to the couch because that was super comfy yesterday. Hey guys, this is your daily reminder to stay hydrated because if you're like me, I am terrible at drinking enough water for my body. Like I kid you not, I started tracking how much water I drink and the other day I only drank 250 milliliters for an entire day. No wonder I've been feeling tired and like not great. So every time I refill the ice cube trays, I think of this scene from Friends. Also, excuse my terrible voiceover, I don't want this video to be taken down. What are you doing here? I, uh, I came to fill your ice cube trays. Hello, so it is Saturday. We have today and tomorrow until the exam, and I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of go through these phases of, like, being very nervous and stressed and like, oh my god. God, there's an exam coming. 
to like feeling completely chill to the point where I don't even want to do work. I feel like this exam period has simultaneously been the most stressful but also the most chill exam I've ever had. It's stressful because there's a worldwide pandemic and we have no idea what is happening with our future. Yeah, the, the uncertainty is just really hard. In the past, I've always found it helpful to like identify what my stressor is and I kind of break it down into these are the things we can control so we're gonna fix those so we're not as stressed and then these are the things we can't control and I'm not gonna worry about those. But with this whole pandemic situation, everything is in the we can't control this and it's hard to just like let that go and not worry about like huge aspects of your life. Guys, I feel like an actual zombie. I'm staring at the screen. Stuff is hitting my retina, but it's not going into my brains. Good evening, bean team. So it is currently 6.45. If I'm being honest, I really struggled today. I think from about 11 to 6, I sat at my desk. I tried to do work, but I just wasn't focused. Yeah, as of right now, I'm now dealing with the guilt of not getting anything done today. After two years of vet school and three years of university, I still don't have the whole work, break, life balance figured out. So if you are also like, I don't know how to be super efficient and take breaks in a way that is more productive, don't worry, I am also still trying to figure it out. But I did find at the end of my like afternoon slump, I put in a playlist, I put on the focus app, I deleted distracting apps from my phone and that really helped. I made a video on like productivity tips. So if you're like in a slump and you need some tips, I did actually find those helpful as of today and I found them helpful during the time that I experimented with them. Good morning! So today is Sunday. It is the last day before our first final exam. I just whipped through the first set of practice exam questions. They went okay, so I'm not freaking out yet. But now I'm gonna have some breakfast, have some coffee, and then I'm gonna work through the second set of practice exam questions. Also, throughout this vlog, I have been feeling kind of self-conscious about how much effort and studying I have been putting into this exam, which sounds silly, but it's because it's an open book exam and I don't really know what to expect and at the end of the day, I wanna just do my best, but I feel like people are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, oh, if I had an open book exam at the end of second year, I would have done something more fun with my life. I feel like in med school, sometimes there's this underlying culture of trying to look like you don't work hard and that you naturally pick up things quickly. And I feel like with this vlog, I'm really putting myself in the position of being that person who's trying to work really hard. I'll be the first to say that I am not a genius. I really have to work hard. I have to work hard to one, remember things, and two, I have to work really hard to understand why things are the way they are. Another thing contributing to these feelings is the fact that I know that other people are doing lots of other things right now. It feels like people are working on like 10 different research projects right now, and some people are studying to take the step one exam right now, and I'm like, all I did during this whole pandemic period was study for a final exam that's gonna be open book, and that doesn't count towards it's our promotion of third year. I'm trying not to like regret that or wish that I started other projects or did something else, but it's hard, especially when you know that other people are out there achieving amazing things. I know one thing I said in first year, which I think is still some of the best advice ever, is you have to stay in your own lane and just work on yourself and not really worry about what everyone else is doing. That will just get overwhelming and I'm gonna just keep focusing on me as best I can and not try and let other people's like success cause me anxiety just because I feel like I haven't been as successful. Good morning. Today is Monday. It's eight o'clock. This is it. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we just finished the first exam. I feel really good about it, even though it doesn't count for grades. I still feel good. So I'm gonna take the next half hour as like a little mini break, do some cleaning. I'm going to do something with my face, like get ready for the day, and then we will sit down and study. 
Lately, I have been feeling very insecure about my eye bags. Like you can see my cheeks kind of hollow out there. And I thought it was just because I don't sleep enough. But during this whole pandemic situation, I have definitely been sleeping more. And I don't think that they have improved. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and just on the internet in general of people getting under eye filler. Now before you go crazy on me. I definitely went through a phase where I was like, oh yeah, when I have money, I'm definitely gonna get filler for my under eyes. But I think this is just my face and I don't wanna mess with it. I don't have like a problem with filler and obviously never say never. I think the problem arises when people say that that's just their face or they grew into their face or they haven't had any work done or like puberty glow up when really they've gotten like lip filler, cheek filler, rhinoplasties, like non-surgical rhinoplasties and they're like yeah but I've never been under the knife like this is me all natural. I think that that further contributes to a culture where we just feel terrible about the way we look and it's just like not fair to people who aren't in a position where they can afford fillers or they don't want to get them for people like young people growing up to look at these influencers and think I should look like that after I've like grown up or grown into my face. I just, urgh, I don't like the dishonesty. Alrighty, well, thank you for joining me while I talk about how looks shouldn't define us while simultaneously putting on makeup. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna go study now. I will check in with you later. Hey guys, so the current time is 9.30. I did not do a good job of studying today. I tried hard for like two hours in the morning and then after that it was just like, mmm, focus was gone. So tonight I'm going to be making up for lost time and I think I am going to be staying up kind of late, cramming in some histology, radiology, pathology, and anatomy knowledge into my brain. There's a few problems here, but I mostly blame myself for not studying hard and being motivated today. But I also found the exam on Monday very straightforward and having it open book was like a complete game changer in terms of like how challenging the exam was. Second, I'm just like so tired and I don't want to look at another book. And third, it is really starting to feel like summer. Like I'm just wearing a tank top right now. It's so warm, it's light out in the evenings now. And all of these factors combined just equals me not wanting to sit down and work. Also, if you ever wonder why I have a high ponytail up, it's because my hair is like super greasy. Because you know, if you like just do this and like pull it high enough, nobody can see your greasy scalp and you're just like, personal hygiene, I do that. Anyways, I can feel myself starting to go a bit loopy. This was like the 9, 10 p.m. surge of energy that I was talking about when I was trying to fix my sleep schedule, which I realize now that I'm going to have to refix it after this exam, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, so it is 11.30. I have just finished going through all of the anatomy things. I think I'm going to do histology next because that is like probably the second most high yield topic to study. But before that, I'm going to grab a snack and a drink so that we can stay awake. So you may be wondering about my new desk. It's not my desk, it's my boyfriend's gaming setup, so it's really fancy. He's got like the, I don't even know, the like, is it mechanical keyboard? I don't know, the keys are really fun. Okay, so I just picked up some children from the Sour Patch. I do realize that like excessive sugar is not healthy. Thank you for your concern. But I would rather get a little bit of a sugar high to stay awake than have a caffeine high because <laughs> if I drink caffeine now, I like won't sleep. Anyways, next on the schedule is a histology movie. And by histology movie, I mean rewatching all the pre-lab videos that I should have taken notes on during the semester. So it is 2.40 a.m. The exam is at 8, so hopefully I'll wake up at like 7, 7.30, look over some stuff last minute, and then we will finally be done with exams. I'm so tired, I can't even think. All right, good night. See you tomorrow.
Good morning. It is 7.30. I'm very tired. My throat is sore. I'm so excited to be done with this. There goes my 10th alarm of the day because I was absolutely terrified I would sleep in. <sighs> and now we wait five more minutes till they send the exam code so that we can start. One more minute till we can start this thing. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> we just finished our last final exam of second year. <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment. This has felt like such a long year. I am, I'm beyond happy to be done exams. I cannot believe how fast these past two years have gone by. It literally feels like yesterday that I was receiving my acceptance, but it was in fact two years and two days ago. That is just like insane to me. And next year I'm starting clerkship which means like I'm halfway through medical school. What the heck? Ah! Alrighty, that is all from me, folks. If you watched all the way through this very fat vlog, good job. The secret symbol for the comments this time is a smiley face with this kind of nose. So if you want me to reply to you slash read your comment, I will definitely prioritize it if you have this smiley face included. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.